So now I'm going to kind of explain how I get the chi, the chi wheel to, to spin, like, you know, using my, like, using my mind over matter, not manipulating it through air, right? So, basically what I do is, like, of course, I get it to a standstill, and I make sure that there's no airflow in the house or wherever I'm located. You know, this is why I usually try to put something on my face to, you know, and then hold my breath as I'm... As I'm doing it, but basically, like right there, it was just the air, right? So, put your hands around it like that, and see, like right now, I'm like kind of like visualizing it spinning, but at the same time, I'm like, watch, see, see how it's spinning. How's that air? That's not the air. It's See, it's see, I'm getting better at it, right? So you just visualize it spinning, but then, like, as you have your hands around it, picture, like, an electromagnetic field where, like, it, 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 after a while, you get a feel, of, the feel for it. So, like, watch. Stay still. Yeah, like right now I can't. Watch, see, watch, see, see how it goes. It has nothing to do with any air. Then I'm. It's strictly electromagnetic energy. Mind over matter. See? See if I really concentrate on it, watch. See? They should be teaching this to you in kindergarten, in school, like right when you're. You know, right when you're, uh, yeah. 